Hello folks, Resident FIFA here for episode 2 of the Road to Manual Mastery, my attempt to go all the way from Division 10 to a Division 1 league title in head-to-head -head seasons using full manual controls against anybody. In the first episode, I laid out the rules for the series and got off to a pretty decent start. If you missed that episode, the link is in the description below if you want to see it in full. A recap of the rules that I've set myself for the series is in the description if you don't want to go through it all again. And for this episode, we are going to try our best to get out of Division 10 and who knows, maybe even a little further. For this first match, I opted to be Marseille. I went to France, Marseille, a team I quite liked using in FIFA 12, but in FIFA 13 they have gone down to a four-star team. Now one thing I showed in the first episode but didn't really talk in detail about was the new matchmaking system EA have introduced for FIFA 13. You can now be much more specific with your searches so that you can make sure you end up club versus club instead of club versus international, and you can be much more specific with the star rating of the team you come up against. This was a big problem in FIFA 12 where this feature wasn't there, because I'm sure many people went through the same experience as I did, where you'd pick someone like, I don't know, Stoke, and the matchmaking system would draw you with Real Madrid. Ugh. So in the next game you thought, oh, I'll just try a different four-star team, so you picked Bolton, and the matchmaking system put you against Real Madrid. Oh, for... So you thought, right, I'm getting sick of being drawn against Real Madrid, I'll outsmart this system, and you choose Real Madrid, and you end up against Spain. Oh, piss off! Good news is that with the new filters, that's not a problem anymore. Full manual controls, or at least the definition of full manual we're using for the purposes of this series, as I suggested in the first episode. Using the matchmaking system to make sure I'm drawn against a similar team, and we are ready to search for the third match of the season and the series. And we end up against Hanover 96 of Germany, who have got a lovely smiley face on their kit. I was hoping to turn that down and to frown upside down with a victory with Marseille, and this was just one of those games where it doesn't matter whether or not you're a manual user or not, if you use semi or if you use assisted, sometimes you just have those matches where no matter what you do, you just can't put the ball in the back of the net. This seemed like one of those games for me. As with the first episode, you're going to get a mix of live commentary and sort of post-match reactions, if you like, for this game. And for the rest of the games in the video. So let's see how it went down. That is an awful touch, but Valbuena's on it. Slides oh, hello. Keeps it going well. He's got space. Shayru! Oh, rebound. I've blocked off. Come on. Benoit Shayru. That's a good pass. Benoit Shayru. Oh, pass the ball! That's a vital stop. You utter nincompoop. Well played the attacker. One on one and he's passed the defender in a flash. Passing it. Is that a good swing? Oh, that is woeful. Just, uh, nice move, but that shot contact. was dreadful. Good forward play this from Marseille. Oh, he's going to shoot. What kind of first touch is that? That's a great interception. You were completely in on goal. I can't see the ball. All right, Remy. Hit it! Oh! Leave, I dare you. Oh, risky. He's just giving it away. Finish! Oh! Why can't I just score? I'll have that. Coming from the right wing is another player and they can find him. Hey! Well, here's a chance from the wide position to get it in. Chance for Marseille. Great. Remy! Oh my god! But not one that Just try one, why not? Oh, it's dangerous. Oh! Simply to deal with that cross action. How close was that? Here is uh, Diawara. Valbuena. Remy. Oh, ha, ha, no, I should have put my foot through it. So as you've seen, it was chance after chance after chance. You could hear how frustrated I was getting. And then in the 70 something minute, finally, finally, something went my way. That's a good pass. And he plays it back to it. Finish. Jeez, get it. Yes! Come on! Yes! 
so lucky, but I don't care. Well, how many players have they got? Finally taken a chance. Pick that up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Way! I love that. That is one thing I really, really love on this game. Go on. Do something stupid. Oh, he has! It's a goal! What a way to seal it. What a way to seal it indeed. A bizarre goal, but a goal I will take nonetheless. 2-0 win. Seven points from three games. Not going along too badly, but I think it's fair to say so far I haven't really had a convincing win or an especially convincing performance. I haven't been clinical enough. What I opted to do for my next game was pick a team I've never ever used before. I went to Serie A and used Catania, and I was desperately hoping that there was some player hidden away in that team that I wasn't too aware of that was going to step up and put in the performance of a lifetime. One of them did. Step forward, Alejandro Gomez. Oh, I turned right into that. Tackle here. They've wasted possession. Might need more back here to curb this piece of attacking play. Have a hit. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Oh my god! <laughs> Where did this come from? That is an amazing hit. Oh my good grief. Reasons to use manual shooting number one. What a goal. Oh. Win that ball. Play it safe. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, yes. I feel like I'm in the groove now. This is what defenders hate facing a fellow like this. Francesco Lodi. Oh. Oh. Oh! Yes, I am actually orgasming on YouTube. Never thought my life would reach that point. And my behaviour only got stranger. It's fashion. Come on, Gomez. It's a terrible place to give the ball away. Oh, it's rubbish. Great chance. Oh, you're in. Hit it. Oh, oh penalty. Yes. Oh, penalty. Oh, no only one man's going to be taking this. Gomez, where are you? Alejandro, Alejandro. Ali, Alejandro. Ali, Alejandro. With the goal. 2-0, and I just sang Lady Gaga. Oh, I'll cut that out. Where's he going? Oh, okay, thank you. Go on, Gomez. Go on. Oh, yes. Oh, he's tempted to go again. Cuts inside. Gomez, roulette. Steps inside. This is magnificent. Oh, the finish is terrible, but Gomez gets the rebound. 3-0. This is absolute assault. And that was actually that in terms of goals for that game. A crushing first half performance, more than enough to see my opponent off, although he did come extremely close to getting a consolation very late on. But a 3-0 win, three more points, and that means promotion guaranteed from Division 10. However, the Seasons Mode has a new system this year whereby you can win a league title in every single division. I had six matches in order to get two more points, and then I would have something nice to put in my trophy cabinet. For the next match, I opted to be Borussia Mönchengladbach, I think is how you say it, from Germany. And I was under no illusions, because just because I had plenty of games to spare didn't necessarily mean winning the title was going to be simple, because usually winning a title really isn't easy. Okay. That was quite easy. I'm not going to bother with the live reactions for this one, because honestly, this was probably the easiest match I've ever had in my entire time playing FIFA Online. The guy just wasn't very good, he might have been new, you can see he got off to a good start. It did take me a while to score, but when I finally did get this goal rolling it into the bottom with Di Camargo, things just suddenly clicked, and you can see, I mean, I'm literally just walking through his defence, there's not even anything resembling a tackle. Take the easy option for the second goal, we just roll it across the goal, tap it into the empty net, and the third goal is a nice little one, bicycle kick into the bottom corner. Tidy way to wrap up the title, done so with consummate ease. As you can see, there we go. We have something in the trophy cabinet. We have the Division 10 title. Four wins, one draw from the first five matches. Things are going excellently better than I was expecting. But in the next episode, in a new division with tougher opponents, can we keep it going? If you're wondering why it says Division 9 with swearing, 
You can probably guess what might have annoyed me, but you'll have to watch the episode to find out. I will be going through Division 9, or starting to in the next episode. It'll be good to see you there, and if you can leave me some feedback on this video as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. But most importantly, if you don't do any of that, make sure you play manual.